Good morning. Morning, morning. <laughs> morning. Good morning. What are you working on today? Prepping this for paint. Nice. Pulling all the plastic so we can power wash. Yeah. Cool. And hopefully we'll spray it today. Nice. Steve's done with that guy. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Matt with another episode. We are on the North American Van Life Industry Tour. And we, are, we have stopped. This might be the last stop. Might be. Might not be, but might be. I'm at uh, a business called Just Roaming next to Vancouver, Washington, on the other side of, of Portland, Oregon. Just Roaming is owned by a guy named Sam. He's going to talk to you a little bit. He's going to introduce his, his company, but uh, we're going to be in here doing a number of different things. Today, we are installing windows. So that van is going to go from a, a plumber's van to a, uh, to a livable van with, with some beautiful venues wherever I drive and go. So we have a lot of windows to install and a lot of processes to get through. I'll be doing most of the work, but they'll be looking over my shoulder from time to time to make sure I don't mess anything up. Nice. Nice. Cleaning out. Cool. Making some room. But yeah, we did a, a custom build on this, which was pretty fun. Changed yeah. out the headlight with the integrated uh, Speedo. Okay. We also put on uh, new switches. Uh, we put a wireless phone charger for traveling. Mainly like LED stuff, all the lights. Cool. Put it on, you know. How many miles you got on it? I think 18,000. I bought it at 13,000. Cool. So, yeah, pretty stoked. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? In this shop or? Just doing this in general. I uh, started back when I was, what was it, three and a half years ago now? Okay. Yeah, so I built out a school bus myself back in. Full size or half? It was, a, it was a 35 foot dog nose, almost the biggest you can get. And I did that while I was in college and then ended up going on the road as a freelance photographer. Got really interested in the power system side of things. And that's when I met Alan uh, at Victron. He was kind enough to give me some time at his house, uh, sort of listen to my story and my plans. Then the relationship sort of developed from there and then got brought onto the team two years ago now. Yeah, so yeah. been with Victron for two years. Uh, in their ambassador program. And so the ambassador program was started by Ryan, who's the, the head of the North American division. And he essentially wanted a support network for the sales team as the brand sort of grew. And so we each have different roles. Some of us have distributorships like we do. So we've got a dealer network. Others are just heavily involved in the space. And how old are you? Uh, 25. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost double your age. That's a sad thing to say. So you don't only do Victron, you do off-grid electrical systems. Yeah, yeah. so that's our so, specialty. So yeah. a lot of people think that we're a van conversion shop. Uh, we do do turnkey solutions, but really it's uh, working with others, other companies uh, to develop their systems. Uh, and then we train them on the electrical design uh, and sort of programming installation. Uh, and then we ship out all of the components to them. The electrical system that's going to be in my van is going to be was kind of designed by Sam and the Victoron team, and it's going to be pretty interesting, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Definitely not something you'll see, uh, yeah. you know, commonly on the road at the moment. Yeah. So we're pretty excited about it. Yeah. So that'll be next week. We'll we'll get more into that. Sounds good. For now, uh, we're going to do windows and uh, yeah, just hang out and have have some fun. I think that Sounds I got a lot of windows to do, so. <laughs> I'll just pull the other one out and then we can get going. Alright. So passenger side rear, that's gonna go there. Yeah. Nice. So pull top up. Yep. How come you wanted the CRL instead of the half sliders? Because I shoot videos, the back is gonna be a studio. I wanted this really long pane. Gotcha. I didn't want to break it up. Yeah. So that's the only reason really. But uh, let's go ahead and turn this over. So what you want to do is you want to make a template of this. Uh huh. They say that it fits 100% like exactly the cutout. No. No, I wouldn't trust that. So you'll make a template uh, around this. Okay. And then from there, then that'll go on the inside. So, you know, yeah. you just sandwich, sandwiches. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so that'll, yeah. But the idea, right, it says to have as much of the the seal of the original on, yeah on actual exterior metal 
because you don't add any sealant to this or anything like that. It just clamshells it. So we taped down this mat here so that the metal shavings that are going to be cutting are falling into here instead of getting into crevasse crevasses. So uh, we're cutting all the way down to here? No, 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 we're cutting out here. We're cutting here. Yeah, so you just... We'll but there will be a gap there. Correct, so yeah. you would just clean that out and then yeah. you prime it. Yeah. So you uh, go ahead and drill these holes and they kind of guide you around the window surface that you need to cut out. Uh, I was a little nervous about the puckering, like these are, just just shift the, the material around, but I'll have windows going this whole way and they go way, way over the edge. So there'll be no problem with that. All right, so now that I got the dots, you just connect the dots and we're going to do that with a hydraulic saber saw. So it's going to get a little noisy. I did all those time lapses waiting for that stupid thing to fall out and my battery ran out before it popped out of the window. Anyways, it came out okay. First window's cut out. I grade my cut as a probably a four out of 10. This is really, really bad. I didn't do a very good clean job, but I did do it leaving a lot of uh, opportunity to, to shave it down instead of going over, I think. So at least I have that. I don't think I did a really good job. But it's the first of many today. Yeah. You pretty happy? I think so. I took about like a quarter inch off of every edge. Yeah. You know? But it's better to be take too much than not have enough, right? For sure, yeah. Okay, so the first opening is finished. I'm gonna put some uh, paint on it. You put some primer on the edge so that it doesn't rust. And then before I install this window, I'm gonna move on to this window. And then I'm gonna move on to this window. And um, Sam had a good point. He said to, he'd much rather uh, leave all the new windows uh, uninstalled until you get finished cutting all of your holes. You cut the holes first and then you install all the windows at one time. Cool. This is the primer that I got from Van Windows Direct. I'm going to put it on a little uh, foam piece and, and edge it. All right, so that's done. You can go a little crazy with it because all of this stuff is gonna be covered up by, by window anyways. Let it dry, and now I'm gonna move on to this window here. All right, number two, that's out. That's where that one's gonna go. Did a better job with the edge this time. Look at that, that's pretty nice. No grinding yet kind of wild to see light inside the van when all the doors are closed. I will never have privacy like I once had, that's for sure. So we're gonna go through and drill all the holes. Uh, they're guide holes, basically. So at every corner, you do before the curve, after the curve, before the curve, after the curve, before the curve, after the curve, and then you have you have points to connect when you're, when you're doing the cutting. Pretty much everything is just right along the edge here. 
and so you can use your edge as the guide. Now I have this kill mat and uh, this stuff really, really gums up, well, everything, the drills and the cutting blade. So if I can, I try and chisel it away, at least from this, this, this air edge where I'm gonna be cutting. guys it's getting a little late and uh, I'm running out of time I drilled holes on on the entire back of the van I should have done this site first and then worked on the other side but it is what it is we'll try and finish up this side and then uh, they're gonna be closed until Tuesday so I'm gonna have to sweat out the whole weekend I do have holes all around the back looks like bullet holes actually looks like somebody very strategically shot up the van We're losing daylight. I'm, I'm not showing you every single thing, but we, we put the window, I put the windows up and there was a big gap here. So I took some more meat off of this edge. I didn't show you, but that's what I did. Now, uh, let's see if we can get these three windows on. Uh, what can I, can I start doing that one? Is there a place to start it? Like in the corner, like you did? You can go in the corner. I just go like somewhere that you're not gonna like, your eyes are gonna go to if that okay. makes sense. Cool. Do you like burgers? Uh -huh. Do you like burgers? Sure. Steve, do you want K&M? I don't, I don't eat beef. No, they do, they do uh, impossible burgers. How is that edge? Is that okay or is it really wavy? No, it's fine. You want it at a slight angle? Yeah? Okay. That's all right. That's, yeah, watch out. If that gets on your hands, which it already has, then oh, it'll go yeah. everywhere. Like. <laughs> Trust him. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. I would almost put gloves on. Yeah, I'll top off the gloves on. Matt, do you mind if we get dinner next week? Yeah, that's fine. Is that cool? I don't want to wait, you know, whatever's convenient. I like the technique. Exactly, right when you say you like what I'm doing there. <laughs> That's how it always goes. Shitty. This window is definitely not coming off. Ever? No way. No. Oh. If you need it off, let us know. <laughs> is this too much? No. Okay. It's perfect. Cool. Okay, now we put the window or we wait? Now we put the window. Okay. So just watch the blue tape above. I'm not sure for this day. And watch the blue tape above. Cool. Pretty happy. I guess so. Yeah. Say yeah. now if you ever hold your piece. It's nice. Yep. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. It's pretty even with the CR Morris. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, I'll start coughing this one then. I love Golden Hour. I love filming in golden hour. Everybody does. Perfect light. I'm just putting extra tape. <laughs> Why are you putting extra tape? Because someone needs to drive home. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's bad enough it's got bullet holes all over it. <laughs> very, very organized bullet holes. Yeah, it's so I got in a very, very organized drive-by shooting. Ba 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 ba. That is really funny. When I saw that, I was like, nice. <laughs> no, that, cool. It is a completely different van now. It looks great. I think yeah. it looks it great. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, we have one side finished. So we have a van windows direct uh, slider. So this, this will slide forward and open a vent. This is just a blank window. Then there's a little seam here and I couldn't, I couldn't match it up perfectly, but I think 
at some point I can t I can paint behind here black so you won't you won't see that seam I think that's what I'll do and then this is a CR Lawrence so this vent goes like this this vent goes like this this window opens like that a bit of a strange thing here these are urethaned in they basically they're they're glued and you'd normally want to leave it overnight but I have to go home tonight to my friend's house where I'm staying in his basement so so I'm gonna have to drive this van so we're gonna extra tape it to tape the crap out of it before I leave okay so now what I have to do is I have to clean up he doesn't have uh, the shop open until Tuesday so today is Saturday uh, so I have two days to kill before I can continue working on the van um, beautiful sunset though look at that holy cow 